Hello, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at Eichmer 2023, and I'm here at a stand which isn't exactly a motorcycle manufacturer. This is uh, Gates Carbon Drive. Now, what these guys do is they make uh, drive belts uh, for motorcycles and bicycles. Um, now, I think when it's come up a few times talking about my GS and even looking at some of the other bikes here, uh, I know chains aren't that much maintenance these days and they kind of look after themselves, but a shaft drive is just less effort essentially, especially if you're doing a long trip where you don't have a lot of time to stop and maintain your chain. Uh, I've always seen drive belts on a few bikes and I've always been sort of slightly curious about them. Um, so I had a bit of a look around here and they have some, a few interesting bikes. Now I, I wish I could talk through them myself. Uh, I think that's going to be kind of difficult because I don't really know the technology, but Chris from Gates Carbon Drive has been kind enough to say he'll talk me through uh, a few of the applications they have here. Uh, before I do that, they've got a couple of sort of uh, science, science museum sort of uh, stands or, or things just to show off some of the things about the belt drive. So I'll give you a quick look at that. Then Chris will do his bit and then I will uh, finish off the video. So here we go. So the first thing I just want to show you is this thing, whole thing about maintenance. Now, if you've got a chain, you probably do have to look after it. You have to adjust it. You have to keep it waxed or lubricated one way or another. And yeah, it's not that much work, but it is something else to do, whether you clean it and then lube it up again. Uh, what they've got in here is uh, both from an environmental perspective and just showing just how, how less messy it is with one of their drive belts. All you need is some water and a toothbrush and it will clean it right up. Uh, the second thing that they have on display here is some weighing scales and you know what I'm like with weighing. Okay. If that doesn't mean anything to you, uh, then you haven't seen that many of my other videos. Uh, anyway, uh, what we have here is we have a motorcycle chain and the equivalent carbon drive belt. And as you can see, this one actually has, oops, before I knock it off, it's got a two kilo weight. So that is essentially the difference. If you think, you know, two kilos on a spec sheet for a bike, and what you might have to take away uh, to get rid of that, whether it's you know switching to a lithium battery or a lighter exhaust or something, simply by switching from a chain to a belt could save as much as two kilos. How you doing? My name is Chris Sugai and I'm with uh, Gates Mobility and we're here at ICMA and we're debuting the new Harley Davidson Livewire with uh, featuring our X9 uh, Gates belt, on, belt drive on it. And you know one of the main reasons manufacturers like to choose the Gates belt instead of a chain is that it's smoother, it's much quieter, uh, and it's actually stronger than a chain. Uh, there's a lot of performance benefits uh, with, a with using going from a chain to a belt uh, that you'll notice uh, subtly on the motorcycle as you ride it. So here is another use of the Gates drive on an electric scooter. Again, electric scooter manufacturers like to use a belt instead of a chain uh, when you remove the ice motor out of a scooter, the chain then becomes the no noisiest part of the drivetrain system and it's very loud and no quite noticeable. Uh, manufacturers that have switched over to a belt drive have noticed a, a big reduction in uh, sound and also uh, the reliability of the belt and the powertrain uh, delivery system is much smoother. Here we have uh, an experimental bike um, done by AVL and they've taken a KTM and basically turned it into an electric motorcycle. One of the main things that they did and that we have a video on it on our website is showing how much quieter a belt is versus a chain. And uh, they did empirical evidence using a microphone, um, sensitive microphones and testing to show the, the differences in sound qualities going from a chain to a belt. Another popular aftermarket application is our belt drive system to convert a Suron from a chain to a belt drive. And again, riders notice a better responsiveness, throttle control, quieter drivetrain, and a long, long lasting drivetrain as well. So this is sort of just a, a, an overview of what a system looks like. So you've got you know, your, your two sprockets and our belt system. This particular belt system, you can see there's a small, there's a small uh, groove in it, and it's called center track, and it's a patented technology from Gates. It helps keep the belt centered on the sprocket, and it actually also helps reduce the noise uh, levels, brings the noise level down and makes it quieter. And again, from Gates Mobility, this is uh, one of the new projects we're launching here at ICMA. It's called our Moto X5 and uh, it's a new type of belt development at a, at a lower price point than our X9, which is made of polychain. Uh, this actually uh, has a rubber, uh, is made ma mainly of rubber with a carbon cord technology, um, but it comes in at a lower price point than our premium product. 
So there you go, that is a very quick run through of the benefits and current applications for these carbon drive belts. I mean, I personally think they look, they look kind of cool. I'd be really interested in trying a bike with one. I must admit, on most of my petrol bikes, I wear earplugs, so frankly, the noise thing isn't that much of a benefit. But, you know, it's nice to see where this technology is going, and maybe if we had a few more belt drive bikes out there instead of chains, that would also be a, a shift for the market. So anyway, I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from the show, and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.